Lead contaminated jewelry, it poses a huge health risk, especially to children. Once again, a good evening. I'm Chuck Henry. And I'm Anna Garcia. Colleen has the night off. Just recently, the group California Watch, it's a project of the Center for Investigative Reporting, found harmful levels of lead in costume jewelry for kids, and many of these items were sold right here in California. So in response, the group is offering free lead testing of jewelry today. Our Chris Schauble is live in downtown Los Angeles with more on that. Chris? Yeah, and I'm not far from the jewelry district where every year thousands and thousands of pieces of jewelry are sold, much like this watch. How do you know that the jewelry that you wear, that you use, is not tainted with lead unless you get it tested? That is the goal of the group California Watch. Okay, so this item had no lead in it, but it had 80.6 parts per million cadmium. So again, that's really good. Thank you. Catherine Ho gets the good news about a double silver ring with a band of pearls. During a free screening today in Echo Park by the group California Watch, a machine called the XRF Analyzer measured both lead and cadmium levels. I just figured better safe than sorry. I mean, you might as well, um, I don't know, be assured that the stuff you're putting on your body every day is not going to slowly kill you. <laughs> Jewelry is not a leading source for lead exposure. However, if worn consistently over time or ingested accidentally by a child, lead-tainted jewelry can cause serious, even fatal problems. We want parents especially to know when their jewelry has levels that are potentially dangerous for their children. It can cause um, issues with their nervous system, their development, and also behavioral issues. The amount of lead allowed in children's versus adult jewelry is drastic. For example, in kids' jewelry, you can have 0.03% lead. In adult jewelry, the limit is 6%. The heavy metal cadmium is also toxic and found in jewelry. Problem is, laws regulating its use don't go into effect for almost two years. So members of California Watch say individuals need to take jewelry testing responsibilities upon themselves because oftentimes jewelry companies will not. It's manufactured abroad, oftentimes in China. It changes hands a bunch of times before it, it gets to a buyer, you know, in a retail store. And who's accountable for testing that jewelry and making sure it's safe is often murky or non-existent. Last day that the group California Watch was testing jewelry for free for high lead levels. However, you can still get your jewelry tested. All you have to do is send it to the Center for Environmental Health located up in Oakland. They'll send, they'll test it rather than send it back. All you have to do is provide them a self-addressed stamped envelope. Live in downtown, Chris Schauble, Channel 4 News.